Hi, Jim Marr here at Kaplan Swayzer, and today I'm going to share with you some of the program updates for the 2024 CFA Level 1 exam. Now, for 2024, the Level 1 curriculum will have moderate weight changes in content updates, but significant structural changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those changes that would most greatly impact candidates for 2024. Well, first up, we have our new prerequisite knowledge requirement. We'll talk about that in just a second. We'll follow it up with syllabus weight changes, then we'll move on to practical skills modules, and then we'll briefly touch on new learning module structure, and also we'll wrap up with shorter early registration periods. So for CFA candidates in 2024, most importantly, we have a new prerequisite knowledge requirement. Approximately 500 pages of the CFA material is going to be moved to prerequisite status. So it's not going to be tested on but still be available for candidates as needed. So what this means is the CFA program assumes that candidates have a basic knowledge of economics, quantitative methods, and financial statements as presented in introductory university level courses in stats, econ, and accounting. Now there will be three volumes of prerequisite readings included in the curriculum starting in 2024. And as you can imagine, there are quantitative methods, economics, and financial statement analysis. And the purpose of these volumes will be to help candidates meet the prerequisite knowledge requirements for the CFA program. So that is a significant change going into 2024. All right, next up is our syllabus weight changes. Here we have our weightings in 2023 and moving on over here to our weight change, our weights in 2024. And as you can see, a number of topics actually have a lower weighting and then we have a couple of topics that have a higher weighting for 2024. And also significantly is corporate issuers here that topic has been moved to session one, or say the morning session, along with ethics, quants, econ, and FSA. And then session two, or the afternoon session, you'll have equity investments, fixed income, derivatives, alts, and portfolio management and wealth planning. So we had some minor changes here going into 2024. Now, next up, we have some additional changes to go over. And first up, we have our new practical skills modules coming up in 2024. And these are for level one and level two candidates. These PSMs must be completed by candidates to advance, but they're not included in your actual exam. They're not scored. They're completion based only. Now the topics for level one where candidates must complete one or both are financial modeling. And that would include topics like revenues, costs, income tax, and financial statements. Or you can choose Python programming fundamentals. And that'd be like data types, functions and portfolio optimization. Now level two candidates can choose from analyst skills or Python data science and AI. And next up, we have new learning module structure. Here we have restructured readings into flushed out learning modules for level one. So the readings for the level one exam will be restructured into learning modules. Now this change is primarily a taxonomy change where the larger readings get turned into smaller ones to make them more easier to learn and understand. And lastly, we have our shorter registration periods. Now, exact dates are yet to be provided, but CFI announced that early registration periods will be much shorter for the 2024 exam. So, for example, for February of 24, early registration period may only run from May to June, where in February of 23, that period ran from May to August. So you can see a significant change there. So how do you prepare for these CFA curriculum changes? Well, the best way is to stay up to date. Keep your CFA prep materials current. Now, if you decide to use the previous year's materials, try to avoid outdated topics and trends and focus on what will be present on the new exam. Well, I hope you found today's information helpful and good luck in pursuing your CFA charter. Take care. We hope to see you again real soon. Have a great day.